What's up guys? Today I have here iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So mostly I'll be talking about the problems uh, with the iPhone 11 after updating the software to iOS 16.2. So if you have iPhone 11 and you upgraded to the iOS 16.2, uh, I'm going to show you here the software is showing 16.2. So I'm running a few problems like little glitches after updating to iOS 16.2. And I'll talk about those few problems and then I'll tell you some settings that you can turn off to get rid of those problems. Like small glitches like it sh it's showing you I have a voice message here but when i go to voicemail i don't see anything here so that's a small glitch that's not a problem but another thing after updating to ios 16.2 but that only happened in iphone 11 it says that my screen is not genuine or it's not it's not been replaced by apple or some setting missing even though it's original screen and you know i have never replace the screen of this but it only happened on iphone 11 not on iphone 11 pro or 11 pro max so now let's talk about the ios 16 features and compatibility with iphone 11 and settings that you need to turn off or on you know to get a, the most out of ios 16.2 as we all know that in the beginning, it was not showing the battery percentage, which was a big draw, biggest drawback. But now it's, it's showing the battery percentage. If you go to battery, you can turn it on or off here. Uh, let me just zoom it in here. You can turn it on or off from here. So that problem resolved in iOS 16 point, I guess one. Now the first thing we'll talk about the setting you can turn off as you can see here um, in search section it says you know at the bottom on home page so you can turn it off how do you turn it off you go to settings and then you go to home screen so after going to settings you go to home screen Actually, you don't really need that button there. If you can turn it off from here, and I'll tell you the reason why. Because if you need to switch between the pages, you can do that for you know by touching other dots. So now that button is gone; it's disappeared. And if you let's say if you need to search something, you can always swipe down, and then we have a search here. You can search any app you want to search. You can search it up here. So you don't really need that button there. Now the second thing, if you're using iPhone 11, so you go in settings and then you click on the, your Apple ID and then you go to media purchases, media and purchases and view account. Here, Sorry, it's going to ask for the password. Let me just enter the password. So here, if you go to media and purchases, you can see the button here, personalized recommendations. So what Apple does is collect your personal information to personalize the ads so you don't need to keep it on. You can turn that option off and that will save you tons of battery. Remember in the beginning I said, you know, the even this iPhone model 11, the battery was draining so quickly. So these settings I changed, which made a significant difference in, in the battery life. Now, if we go back to the settings, and then we go to privacy and security. So privacy and security right here. And then scroll down to analytics and improvements. So there's another feature that, you know, I have turned this one off. 
you don't need to keep these features on because they're just collecting your personal information at all times and it's uh, battery draining and as well as your data draining like using your data which you can save and also share iCloud analytics you can turn it off you don't need to keep that on and the next thing is about the apps that tracking your location and stuff so you go to settings and then you go again privacy and settings and then you go to security and tracking so this feature you want to keep that off actually it's not really showing lots of things that's tracking your thing your location but i can show you on other phone like on this phone i can show you privacy and security tracking so these apps are tracking my information and you can tell the as allow apps to, to ask track your activity across the companies so if you turn this feature off the third party apps they cannot track your information which apps you're using or which website you are going so it's, it's a very good idea to turn that thing off now another feature i want to talk about is in, it's in notifications so if you go in settings and then you go to notification privacy and security and then you go to notifications and i'll tell you in a second why it's uh, that important so if you go to notifications and, and then you go to screen sharing so let's say if you're sharing your screen with someone, you don't want the notification to show up so everyone can read uh, notifications. So you can turn that off. That way, if you're sharing your screen, it will not show the notification on other person's screen. So the next, if you go to privacy and security again, and then you go to location services. So these are the apps that using your location service. Now you can pick and choose like let's say Waze is in a GPS app that helps you to going from point A to point B. So you have to let them use your location, otherwise you cannot use that app. But other than that, TikTok and I've I have selected never and then voice memos and you know their bank apps and Snapchat. So you can pick and choose and turn and the best way is to select while using app or you can select never so trust me it makes a huge difference in your battery usage and it's a very good idea to keep that off now the next thing i want to talk about is to save your battery it will not drain the way it's draining right now if you go to settings and then you go to <coughs> excuse me you go to wi-fi and then you go scroll down to the hotspot now you don't want to connect to someone's Wi-Fi which is not secure. They can you know copy your in personal information. So either you can select here never or you can say ask to join, but don't keep it on automatic. It can connect automatically to Wi-Fi without you know some people keep their Wi-Fi hotspots open and they can uh, steal your information as well as you consuming your data and battery on top of everything. Now the other thing is how when you send a iMessage, so if you go to settings again and then you go to message and I scroll all the way down to where it says low quality image. So if if you have this setting on, you, you wanna make sure you turn it off because when you're sharing a picture or any kind of image with someone you don't want to send him in lower quality and when this feature is on it says here when this is on image images sent will be lower quality so you got to make sure that you know you keep it off 
So there are more settings. Uh, I'll be talking in future what settings you need to keep them on while if you're using iPhone 11 series, so that will help you, you know, to keep your battery draining dramatically in, in a in a better way. And that's it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in next.